Satnam. Hope you are all doing well and hope you know how loved you are and how safe you are, even in the midst of what may seem like absolute chaos. My name is Karina Virginia and I am going to be sharing a very powerful Kundalini meditation with you on healing a broken heart which is broken by rejection. So we don't talk a lot about rejection and we all experience it. And rejection has the same impact when it's strong rejection on the nervous system as a physical injury. So we know it can feel like we've been punched in the stomach or we've been slapped across the face. And that pain of, is something wrong with me? comes over us. So when we're rejected from an outside source, it is essential that we connect to the higher realms and we connect to our highest self. And we make sure that the highest part of our soul is not rejecting us, that the highest part of who we are is always embracing us. And then we're able to move through the rejection and maybe, hopefully, in time, discover that rejection is actually perfection. Many times rejection happens because it is something that is not in our best interest or it's not serving the highest good of all. But our mind will react in a way of feeling that pain, of feeling that pang. So this very powerful meditation works on healing the nervous system. It works on healing the wounds of the heart. And it works on making sure that whatever has impacted you from rejection dissolves. And it dissolves in that space around you. The hands are in prayer pose and the Saturn finger, which is the middle finger, comes right up to the third eye point. The eyes are closed and the eyes are rolled inward. So you want to almost think that, think about focusing at the center of your brain. So just close your eyes for a moment and just see what that feels like. And if it's difficult, then focus at your third eye point. You can also focus at the tip of your nose if that helps. And that way your eyes are nine tenths closed and you just see your nose right in front of you like a beautiful figure of something very special to you. Maybe an ancestor, maybe an angel, maybe a loved one, maybe whatever it is that you want victory on in your life, maybe something that you're feeling rejected from. So choose your eye gaze. We're going to be tuning in first and then we'll be practicing this meditation for just three minutes. You can practice it for 11 minutes if you'd like. And I recommend you do this for 40 days straight if you're dealing with a breakup or a strong feeling of rejection in your life. And I also urge you to remember that you're never alone and honor your feelings because what you feel is real. But you are held, you are embraced, and there is a much bigger play taking place that in time you will see. So we always start our kundalini yoga practices by tuning in with the mantra Om Namo Gurudev Namo, which means I bow to the divine wisdom within myself, my higher self, and I bow to the divine which knows what is best for me and for all. And then we chant a mantra for protection. Ad gude namej gad gude namesat gude namesidi gude ve name. And we visualize light all around us, like four pillars of light. And as we chant that mantra with a clock, and as we chant that mantra, we visualize that light moving all around us like a hula hoop. Let's bring our hands into prayer pose, bring our thumbs into our heart center, and what we'll do here is visualize the heart full of light. There's a physical heart and a spiritual heart, and right in the middle they meet. And this is absolute perfection, the perfection of your being in this meeting place of self-love, of higher awareness. So really activate it by pressing those thumbs into your heart center. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. 
And a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And we'll inhale to tune in together. Om Namo and let it bathe every cell of your body. Relax your shoulders, exhale. And now bring your gaze onto your third eye, the tip of your nose, or into the center of your being. Raising your hands and bringing that Saturn finger right up to the third eye point. Your elbows are out to the sides. Keep your eyes closed. Begin long, deep breathing, inhaling until you can't inhale anymore. Exhaling until you can't exhale anymore. And keep going.
and take a nice deep breath in bring that light in through the top of your head all the way down to the base of your spine open your heart and let your heart heal hold the posture exhale and now interlace your fingers and reach your hands up overhead feel your heart opening and healing you're going to be breathing long deep inhales and exhales keep your eyes closed keep your eyes gazing at the point you chose In this last little bit of time, imagine a halo over your head and between the palms of your hands and the top of your head, the light is healing you and it penetrates through the top of your head all the way down your spine as you inhale and all the way up the front of your body, bathing your heart as you exhale. Keep your eyes closed and focused inward. And now take a nice deep breath in. Hold the breath. Maintain the posture. Open the heart. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Command that breath all the way down to the base of the spine. Hold the breath and let the energy lift all the way up the spine. And exhale. Last time, inhale. Hold. Lift the energy. And as you exhale, very gently release your hands, bringing light all around you slowly 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 
healing light all around you into your electromagnetic field, creating a resonance of healing, which will heal your aura, heal your heart, heal your mind, heal your nervous system. And as you place your hands on your lap, continue breathing deeply with the mantra Sat, which means truth, on the inhale, and Nam, which means name, on the exhale. Think about the spine as a place of neutrality. There's the Ida and the Pingala, which vibrate up the spine. They're the nadis. And then the spine is the Shushmana, which is that place of zero point, that place of peace. So as you breathe, you're activating the nadis, the chakras, and the healing. Continue to meditate on the mantra Sat Nam, honoring your truth, honoring your divinity, And remembering that everything is in perfect divine order. And gently bringing your hands into prayer pose. May the long time sun shine upon you. Oh, love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on guide your way on guide your